Hey guys, welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm your host, Retro Nemo. A new Rick and Morty drops next Sunday, and this is one I've been hyped for for a while. That's right, this is the special Jerry Rick Adventure episode. It's titled The Whirly Durly Conspiracy and will be the fifth episode of season three. Never leaving anything unanswered, in this episode we're going to be able to see what Jerry has been doing for the first time since episode two. We know from the clips we've seen so far that Jerry is living on his own in an apartment. We saw him in an after credit scene getting an unemployment check so we know he doesn't really have a job at the moment either. He lost his house, his wife, his kids, his life. And from what we've seen in the promo for this episode, Jerry is living in a small dingy apartment completely alone. It's safe to say that he's hit rock bottom. So that's why it was so surprising to see Rick coming to Jerry's apartment and taking him on an adventure. From what we've seen from the promo and the trailer, in this episode, Jerry and Rick go on a solo adventure to an intergalactic amusement park. Judging by the title, maybe the name of the park is Whirly Durly, or maybe the Whirly Durly is like a roller coaster in the park that has a big role somehow. But either way, this title further connects the episode to the one from the trailers. So in this preview, we see that Rick gets Jerry because he says the fate of the universe depends on it, but later in Rick's ship, it's revealed that the reason why he actually got Jerry is because Morty made him, uh, referred to as a pity adventure. It looks like it's geared up to be another pretty hilarious episode. However, taking a closer look at this episode, I started to notice that something seems off. And using all the clips as evidence we have so far, I think that the Rick we see in this episode isn't our Rick. I think the Rick in this episode is actually a robot sent by the real Rick. Now, it may sound crazy, but let me explain. The biggest piece of evidence I have is this clip from the original Season 3 trailer. It shows Rick transforming and morphing into a cyborg robot form. But we definitely know it's from the same episode because of the mark on his chest. This mark is on both the Rick cyborg and also the Rick on the roller coaster. But it's not exactly clear what this mark is. It looks like maybe a wound or like a laser gun shot. It is useful though in connecting the two Ricks together. So Rick takes Jerry on a pity adventure to an amusement park and later in the episode, Rick transforms into a cyborg for whatever reason. Maybe to defend from an interdimensional villain trying to attack them, but this is what I think is really going on. Rick doesn't like Jerry and Jerry doesn't like Rick. That's clear. So it's hard to believe that Rick would just go on an adventure with him just because Morty wants him to. Rick would have found some way to get out of it. Maybe by sending a robot version of himself so he wouldn't have to? I mean, it makes sense that would explain the scene where he transformed into a robot because he was actually a remote robot sent by Rick the entire time. This isn't too crazy to think. I mean, Rick has made a cyborg version of the family before, this season in fact, with Morty and Summer. So it wouldn't be that huge of a leap to assume that Rick made one of himself to avoid hanging out with Jerry. I mean, it's just in Rick's nature. Rick would have done anything to get out of hanging out with Jerry, and building a robot version of himself is just something that makes sense. So there you go guys, the Rick in this new episode isn't actually our Rick, but a cyborg replacement sent by the real one. I guess we'll have to wait until this Sunday to find out, and until then I'll be waiting. What do you guys think? Is this our Rick? Is the cyborg from the clip there for another reason? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm Richard Nemo, signing out. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved with our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.